Hi guys, this is Hannah Loves Books, and today I'm going to do a book review for you guys. I haven't done a book review in forever. I've just been reading books back after back after back, and I've just been forgetting the last book I read and just reading this, and I just keep reading, and it's just, oh. And I haven't read a book in seven days or something like that. I'm actually currently reading a book, so yeah, don't worry. I'm, I'm still reading. And this is going to be a spoiler-free review, so don't worry. And this is a review on Chasing Brooklyn by Lisa Schroeder. And this is actually a book in verse. And this is the first book in verse I've ever read. And I really enjoyed it. I read it in one day. So that is really, really good, obviously. And it was really quick read. Um, I loved the writing. Ew, that was a gross page. And this actually changed point of view. So I will give you a quick summary. The book is about a girl, her name is Brooklyn, and her boyfriend passed away. So it's her just coping with that and her being really depressed. He passed away a year ago. He was in a car accident and um, his friend, her boyfriend's friend was driving the car. He survived but her boyfriend died. The boy who survived, his name is Gabe, and it's been a year, and he just passed away from a drug overdose. She is getting all those feelings back of like upset and depressed, and she's never been herself. And so this alternates between her point of view, Brooklyn's, and her boyfriend's brother. And his name is Nico. And so it's it changed into different point of views. All of a sudden, Brooklyn starts having dreams about Gabe, about the boy who just died. And she's wondering why she's not having dreams about her boyfriend. And her, he's always scaring her, and she's keep having a repetitive dream, and she's going through a really hard time. Also, Nico is having dreams about his brother and his brother her boyfriend is keep telling him to help Brooklyn so he's like I need to help Brooklyn since my brother he's coming to me in my dreams and telling me I have to help her so I need to help her and so they finally grieve together and they get to know each other and he helps her through it and it was a really good book and the writing was really pretty and it was sad and yeah I just really enjoyed it I recommend it um, it wasn't anything amazing, I gotta tell you. It's not, it's a little cheesy, it's, but I still really liked it, and it was an enjoyable read. It was, it wasn't very enjoyable, but it was, it was sad, but like, it was sad and kind of haunting, but at the same time, it was just like, real. It felt like, real. I don't even know. I, I, literally, um, this blurb pretty much sums it up. She says, sweet, suspenseful, I couldn't put it down. It really was. It was sweet and it was suspenseful because her dreams that she has were really scary. Like, they were like, what is happening? And you really couldn't put it down. So, yes, I really enjoyed it. I recommend it if you want to try a book in verse. It is, again, it's not the best but it's pretty good. I gave it a four out of five stars. Let me know if you've read it. Let me know your thoughts about it. Okay, bye guys.